This beautiful little flower can be used as an indicator to test the pH of the household products that you use every day. Why not do the experiment together? Today, I'm going to test six kinds of household products. I have vinegar, fabric detergent, baby soap, lime juice, dishwashing detergent, and baking soda. Well, let's do it now. What I'm going to need are glass and butterfly pea and hot water. Okay, now I'm going to put six butterfly pea into each glass. Two, four, and six. Two, four, six, two, four, six, two, four, six, two, four, six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then, simply pour some warm water into each glass like this. Now we're gonna have to wait about one minute to extract the beautiful blue color from the from the butterfly pea. The blue color is coming when the blue color coming out, then we should be ready for the experiment. Look at this. Can you see that? The blue color start coming out. But we're gonna have to wait until the blue color is um coming out. Uh, more so that we can see it clearly all right oh actually I should have the control set all right this is my control glass okay, I'm just gonna put it right here The beautiful blue color is start coming out more and more now. This beautiful blue color is um, the anthocyanin substance, which is very sensitive to pH. Okay. Let's wait a little bit more. Oops. Okay, now should be good. First, I'm gonna pour some vinegar into the first glass and see what happens. And my second glass would be, um, I'm going to taste the fabric detergent, this one. The third glass would be um, baby soap. The fourth glass, I'm going to squeeze some lamb juice into it. Like this. Yes. That should be good. And the fifth glass, I'm going to squeeze some dishwashing detergent into it. Okay. The last one would be baking soda. Well, 
that should be good. And the last one, actually this is the last one, a bit of control glass. Can you see that the color changed after I put the um, each kind of substance into each glass? This is because each kind of substance has different pH. So now you know the easy way how to test the pH by yourself using the beautiful blue, um, beautiful blue flower like butterfly butterfly pea. All right, let's find out the answer. Which one is, which one has highest pH and which one has lowest pH and which one is neutral? Don't forget to let me know your answer below this video. Thanks for watching. See you again next time with the easy and fun experiment for kids and parents that you can do at home. Bye!